334 is a science fiction novel written by Thomas M. Dish and first published in 1972. The novel is set in a dystopian future where overpopulation and environmental decay have resulted in a society where human life is cheap and technology has advanced to the point where people are genetically modified for specific jobs. The title of the book refers to the address of the apartment building where most of the story takes place, in a future New York City. The building is home to a variety of characters, each struggling to survive in a world that seems to be falling apart. One of the main characters is Mr. Black, a retired CIA agent who now works as a private detective. He is hired to investigate the murder of a wealthy businessman and begins to uncover a web of corruption and deceit that leads him to the highest levels of power in the city. Another central character is Mrs. Hansen, a woman in her seventies who lives in the building with her cat, Satan. She is a bitter and disillusioned woman who has given up on life and spends most of her time drinking and watching television. However, she begins to find new purpose when she takes in a young boy who has been abandoned by his parents. Other characters in the novel include a genetically modified human who is designed to be a servant, a group of teenagers who have formed their own gang, and a scientist who is working on a secret project that could change the course of human history. Disha's writing style is highly descriptive, and he paints a vivid picture of the world of 334. His descriptions of the city are particularly striking, as he portrays a New York that has been transformed by overpopulation and pollution. The city is covered in a thick layer of smog, and the streets are filled with garbage and homeless people. The wealthy live in luxurious skyscrapers, while the poor are relegated to cramped and squalid apartments. One of the main themes of the novel is the dehumanization of society. The characters are all struggling to maintain their humanity in a world that seems to be losing its soul. The genetically modified humans, in particular, are treated as little more than machines, designed to perform specific tasks with no regard for their own desires or needs. Another theme is the corrupting influence of power. The wealthy and powerful characters in the novel are portrayed as ruthless and immoral, willing to do whatever it takes to maintain their status and control. The murder that Mr. Black is investigating is just one example of the crimes that are committed in the pursuit of power and wealth. Despite the bleakness of the world that Dish portrays, there are moments of hope and compassion in the novel. Mrs. Hansen's decision to take in the young boy is one such moment, as is the relationship between the genetically modified servant and the scientist who created him. Overall, 334 is a thought-provoking and powerful novel that explores important themes such as overpopulation, environmental decay, and the dehumanization of society. Disha's writing is evocative and his characters are complex and nuanced, making the novel a compelling read. Although it was first published nearly 50 years ago, the issues it addresses are just as relevant today as they were then.